What up, bro? <laughs> what up, doggy? Yeah. How are you doing? Ah, uh, shit. It's actually a better week than last week. It definitely is, bro. Something changed in the, in the atmosphere. In the air, in the atmosphere. Yeah, dude. In the... No, but it's, yeah, I'm great. How are you doing? I'm dope, bro. Dope. Dope. Busy past two days. Fun past two days. Fun past two days. Actually. Oh, wait, shit. Where we at? Episode 12. Now you, what's this? Okay. One and two. <laughs> oh, do I mean to do like ten, two, ten, two, ten? Episode twelve. Episode twelve. Yeah. And where are we? <laughs> Would I call it a special place to us? Yeah. It's got a very special meaning. It's yeah. got a special place in our hearts. We are at the Jurtec. Well, hey, let me not fall. <laughs> <laughs> Jurtec testing facility. Yeah, uh, um, we've been here many a times. Yeah, we've done a lot of work here. We're technically here for you know work work ish. We we actually worked this past week. We yeah, worked we here. worked here. And then we decided, hey, this is a great spot to shoot an episode. But yeah. it also falls into what we want to talk about today. Yeah. With the backdrop of the your, gradients. The gradients. Uh, <laughs> we'll show you a little show you a little clip about uh, <laughs> somebody's first experience. Are we gonna do that now? Yeah, we're gonna do that. You ready? No. Someone says let go. Keep your hands on the wheel. Yep. No, I'm doing my Yeah, let go of the brake. No, I can't. Let go of the brake. I can't. Let go of the brake. <laughs> Gabriel, let go of the brake. Let go of the brake, Gabriel. Foot off the brake. Like right now. Off. Yeah, right now. Off the brake, dude. You can do it. Off Oh, shit! <laughs> Don't close your eyes. Oh! You told me to steer, dude. <laughs> that was crazy, bro. <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. No feet. No feet. No feet. No feet. No feet. No feet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, you know that Jurotec used to be like, um, you know, first of all, this land is owned by the military. Yes. By a South African army. It's, it's Arms Corps. Yeah, it's Arms Corps. This place was like a full on. It was a secret. Yeah, it was a secret. It was a secret base. Yeah. Nuclear weapons were kept on premises here. And tested. Nuclear testing. <laughs> they still actually do some some testing. Yeah, yeah. they do a lot of weapons testing. Weapons stuff. testing, yeah. yeah. And, and dude, last week's episode was super dope. I don't know whether you guys picked it up. We had so much content. We couldn't not. Yeah. Well, we couldn't leave it out. Mm. And that was a first for us as well. Yeah. Part one we, part we didn't two. know what to do because we're like, shit. <laughs> there's so much fucking good stuff in this episode. How are we going to put it out? Those of you who noticed, uh, we did a part one on Friday yeah. and part two followed on Monday. Surprise. Uh, surprise. <laughs> so any girls pissed you off in the last week or so? No. I mean, yeah, it's been a good week, man. It's been, it's been a damn good so week. So you recovered from breaking your balls? Yeah. And you know, you know what really helped was the two shoots that I did this past weekend. They yeah. were really, 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 really Dope. Yeah. So if you guys want to go check them out on my Instagram, they're on there. Tell us what they are, dude. Don't um, just tell us to go and look. Oh at them wow. Okay. So the one. first one was if you guys saw the episode dropping on Friday, Rory and um, Barra, they've been doing some amazing work, and they invited us out to their listing session. Man, was it so dope, bro! Like those guys' sound is is, is incredible. So I just went out there. They, they got a proper new age sound, dude. I think that when they break into the industry, they'll go international very quickly. But not only that, I think they'll they'll start up. A yeah. movement of their own yeah it's really dope i mean when we listen to some of the tracks that that he played for us the vibe is just unreal dude, dude. but if you think that was like all the songs they just take you on a really awesome journey yeah you know so that was really dope shots but sunday that was different my artist and i can shout out to can what up k <laughs> um, my favorite songwriter favorite vocalist at the moment in sa <laughs> right, so we went out to the Super Buck open mic at Something's Cooking. It's always a vibe, right? Yeah. So I just decided, you this know This is what? Jay Something Spot, right? Jay Something Spot. Pretoria. Right? I was supposed to come with you, but... It, yeah. Yeah, the pots and could not be done. The pots were not cooking, and it's all right. <laughs> but we'll go next time. There's, yeah. I think I'm going to be there quite a lot. It's, it's a really dope um, vibe. So there, I just decided, you know what? 
let me after i perform yeah. let me just take some shots anyway okay so i might drop maybe one or two um videos from the performance uh, i did record the whole thing and no one's seen i haven't even seen those this guy's been stingy uh, with the with the, with the i haven't stuff. i haven't done any edits guys i haven't done any edits but yeah. we'll, we'll do edits I'll anyway do edits. so yeah so yeah. drop something dude put a little bit of a snippet of you and k doing the live performance Yeah, that was bourbon. One yeah. of our favorite covers that we did. Yeah, I one mean, of my favorite covers that you guys do. Yeah, dude. Like, ah, oh, that song, man. Yeah. It's but I couldn't do the full thing because there were technical issues. So she was the only voice on, on the cover, unfortunately. Okay. But it's all good. So you didn't uh, belt out your... I, I didn't do my thing, You didn't man. do your things, man. Nobody heard the... <laughs> I might have belted it out without the mic. That was my weekend, man. Just shooting, 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 shooting. How was, how was your weekend, bro? Chilled? Uh, I, I had a super chill weekend, bro. It was fam. Um, yeah, man. I stayed indoors pretty much. I need to do uh, one of those one day. Yeah, well, it's up to you, bro. You let, <laughs> you let me know. <laughs> we can do an indoor chill session. Uh, it's up to you, bro. You let me know. Yeah, like we said, obviously we hear here at Juratech. Obviously working. Did a little bit of both. It was kind of a... A pretty, a, a pretty cool collab this week, I think. It eh? was. It was Lube the Cube. Well, primarily we're here because of Lube the Cube. Yeah. You know, one of my clients that we're here with you know, was doing a, a fun day and, you know. And showing what their vehicles are yeah, capable of. Yeah, exactly. 4x4, four four, skid pan, the gradient as we spoke about, the dynamic handling track. So we had a lot of fun. Yeah. It kind of just brought up, you know, another one of our passions that we thought we would have a bit of a chat about, dude. Yeah. It's, it's cars. For me, it's cars in the motor industry as a whole, dude. I think yeah. just... Automotive sums it up for me, dude. For me, it's bikes and cars, bro. Like, well, you know what I dig? I won't lie. No, fucking lawnmower racing. That shit. That hillbilly really shit. I want. I want to do that. I want to do that fucking. I want to do that. Shit. I grew up loving cars. I grew up loving speed. You grew up in the burbs. Of course, you grew up with cars. But even in the hood, there's some, there's some dope ass cars. It's a combo, boy. No, bro. <laughs> no, bro. I don't, I don't. Dude, have you ever been on a taxi? Yes, I have. Give it a lie. Maybe. <laughs> Wait. I'm, I'm trying to count the times I've been on a taxi. Dude, you know you just fucking proved that you're a fucking <laughs> suburb child, Joe. Bro, it's... You're like, you're like fucking Joe, you're white. I haven't been on a taxi more than 10 times. Let's put it that way. So he could mean once. No, it's more than once. In 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 varsity, I was I was in a taxi because I lived on campus, so I didn't need a car then, and I was in PE. So that was like the two years that I was there. This guy is so bougie, man. Next month we're doing all our shoots and we're traveling by taxi. What? <laughs> Dude, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> so calm, my boy. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Okay. I, I fucked with taxis, bro. Fuck all of high school. Almost all of us. But didn't you also take buses as well to school? Yeah, but buses were too scheduled and very uh, structured and all of that you stuff. Your own life. I wanted to finish school and go to where I'm going, dude. So to I can catch a taxi, bro. I don't even. I lived that life, dude. And in varsity, taxis one way, though. I used to fuck Nord, MTN, fucking Bree. What's MTN now? It's Bree Street. It's the taxi rank in Bree. Wow. For me, MTN is a network. Wow. Saying, where, where did your passion for cars, for automotive, start or, or, or jump off? Or like, th- uh, for me, it, re- it really started in primary school. That's when it really like started How? to t- My grandfather and grandmother actually owned taxis. In then again, most taxi owners' kids don't ride in taxis, but yeah, we get it. Yeah. So I, we had a casita in the crib. Sh- yeah. Classic. The one with the, with the digital speedometer. Dude. So yeah. it started from there and then snowballed into liking red rods. And uh, my brother used to race yeah. um, Formula 3. 
Okay. So that's yeah, another thing. I didn't even know that. Yeah, dude. Serious? My brother used to, when he was in high school and early varsity, yeah. he, he was racing Formula 3 cars. Shit, that's dope. Yeah, dude, so he's, he's, he's fucking good. So my my love for it also, because of the way he was driving, Yeah. even on our cars, dude, that, you know, he used to fuck them up. So How that, come you drive so slow? Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> this guy gives me in check, bro. <laughs> Yo, man, oh, this shit. guy gives me in check, bro. So, nah, bro. Like, and then for me now, I started seeing like the Porsches and the exotic cars. Yeah. And the, the Germans. Yeah. Then I was like, Yo. Then I started seeing the. I remember the first C60 C32. That's when my love for MG started. So not even at the 55. No, dude, 32, bro. I started C32, dude. Okay. The one with the... With was the, that before the 55? It was before the... So they went six, C32, 55, oh. then the 63. Okay. I, I nev- I've never really been a, a Merc fan on that side. Yeah. I've all, I was like very specific Mercs. I've been a CL fan. I, I'll never stop loving that car. And it's the SL, the hard top. The first fucking hard top yeah. drop top ever fucking made. Those were... Maybe not ever made, but I'm, I guess the, fun, the first one I... That you fucks That with. I fucks with, yeah. Yeah, and, and those are still like I would still buy those cars now. From we'll talk about your ultimate garage actually yeah. just now. But yeah, dude, that, that and then it just snowballed into that. So now I mean the where I am now is like sleeper cars, red rods, and exotics. So what a sleeper car is. <laughs> Ultimately, I want to build my, my red rod, so... And race? I think or I, just for the fuck of it? I think I'll do a show and shine type of car. I, wouldn't, I don't think I want to race. But okay. uh, I'm still in two minds about whether to go into racing or just leave it as a show and shine, so... And you, bro? Dude, mine started as a fucking toddler. Literally. I think I must have been two or three years old. You know you get those little toys? I had some. And <laughs> I, I had my favorite toy, and it's still today my favorite car. Of all time the testarossa ferrari testarossa a red one today still i will own that car uh, even if it I, even if it's just in my living room and i switch it on as an alarm to wake people up in the house <laughs> and it never drives out i will own a <laughs> ferrari awesome. testarossa 19 and 83 or 84 i want that's one from classic, the year of man. my birth but that was my favorite no, car i grew up for the first decade of my life in Malawi. When we got back to South Africa, so this yeah. is after 95, we got back here. Then car culture sort of sparked up again in my life. And when we wow. got when we got back here, we stayed at Komabopane, Godi X. And my mom's family is from Atridgeville. So I spent, I spent a lot of, unlike yeah. you, I spent a lot of time. Hey, <laughs> I spent four years in the hood. Yeah, okay, dude. Whatever. Come on, Barney. We're not talking about this. We're talking about cars. Anyway, so <laughs> I, I got into that. And I had uncles, Mobrales, you know, who had VR6s, who had the Opel Cadets, the TSs, not even the IS. Guys had the Mach 1 GTIs. Car culture was then, like, you know, really... You know, thrown into my face, dude, and it was big, and it was, it was what we aspired to, you know, being in the hood and growing up yeah. around it, you know. So you start really, you know, saying, "Geez, I want a GTI, I want a VR6," and then you know, obviously, it then it just grows because yeah. as time goes, you know, they're releasing new cars. Then it's not just the Gucci. Look, you'll never go past old school. Old school is old school. If I could find a clean VR6 today, <laughs> if, I would buy it. Huge if, exactly, but I'd also buy one and fix it up. I, I still want I still want a yeah. I still want a Gucci. I'm saying that people are not selling them. Dude. Exactly, that's the other thing. Like How a, a, a proper Gucci. You well. you have enough money, dude, and you go to Europe, you, you, you can pick them you up pick still. Them up. And then in Europe, spec is also a different. You see, a different animal. Exactly. So that that's kind of yeah. where mine came in. You know, fast forward to today, there really aren't any shit cars on the road, bro. It's more of a, a preference. It's now. a preference thing now. The it's, tech is there. Yeah, the tech the is there. The engines are there. The the multimedia is there. Dude, the, the performance, the, performance the fuel there. economy, all that shit yeah. is there. And and they do it. I mean, yeah. if you look at competitors or, or, or brands that compete yeah. in the in the car space. 
if you're looking at same segment cars, there's really much over, there's really very little separating it, the brands. It's about preference. It really is. Yeah. Like, let's look at the A segment, for example. If you look at... <laughs> Jeez, dude, where do you even start? Oh, yeah, let's look at A segment and, and the hatches. So what do you have there? You've got the A45. Yeah. Um, oh, you're talking about a hot... Oh, A45. Hot hatch. A, A45, OPC? GTIR, OPC, RS3, yes. and S3, Type R Civic. Yes. Dude, if you put all of those in a drag race, you're not leaving very much. It's it's only a few seconds separating those. Obviously, some of them are like split, like not even a split. Yeah, it splits. And obviously, mine ends up on top there. The, let's the, not, the, let's <laughs> not start. Let's not, let's what not start. What do you mean? This. You said it's preference. Yeah, you said yours. Like, yeah, it's mine. So no, but mine is faster and better. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Now it is. There still isn't proof of an A45 beating an RS3. Sh short term, go car. Short term goal car? Yeah, realistic. High performance car? C63. C63? S. S. Coupe. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I still, I'm still on RS3. S63. C63, sorry. C63 yeah. S. Coupe. Okay, then if you have that, next car after that for you? Then's the 911 Turbo. Direct. You ain't fucking around, eh? The 911 will stop me into the port, because I've got another Porsche in mind, right? Like, that's, but that's like, there's like way down the line. <laughs> There's still it, way past that. Yeah, there's one Turbo S, bro. No, GT2 RS. The old school. No, the new ones, bro. Oh, okay. The yeah. new ones are. You legit. take a GT2 RS over a 911 Turbo S? Yes, I would. I would, personally. Interesting. And then after that, there's only one. There can only be one after that. Godzilla. Godzilla himself. You still fucks with Godzilla, ne? Oh, I'm going to own a fucking GTR, bro. And these are cars for you. Obviously, within that, you know, you've got a family car. No, yeah, you've got these, an are, SUV. these are my personal car. Yeah, these are my personal. I'm gonna drive them. I know okay. you love the Range as well. Range Rover Sport SVR, bro. Ah, man, it tickles my heart, man. Like, I, I, I absolutely adore that car, bro. Like, but that would be like family, and then a V class. An SVR is a family car. Yes. All right. And yours? Uh, you said RS3. For me, for me, RS3. I'd probably stay within the four rings, bruh. You love the four rings. I love the four rings. I'd stay, I'd stay in that family. Anything with R, anything with S. And an, the number doesn't matter after <laughs> that, bruh. Like, for me... But I know you love the RS6. Yeah. I know you love the RS6. Dude, so for me, for me, ideally, I would go RS3. I wouldn't really want to go in between that, but I would probably go to R8 after that. Straight to R8? Yeah, why not? Those are probably my two favorite cars within that brand. Which makes sense. Yeah. And then after that, I'll probably just go, you know, real German to the Porsche. Porsche. Yeah. Okay. So we'll fax the Porsche for both of us? Yeah, definitely. 911s? 911. But I'll have the Targa. Yo, you oh, for, oh, I keep forgetting you love that thing, Tar Targa 4S, bro. With the glass roots Nothing like that. Grass, gr gra 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 grass roots. <laughs> grass roots. <laughs> gra glass <laughs> roof. And, and when he goes like that, it just tilts like back, that. and then oh, oh, it's beautiful. amazing. And then obviously for me, the 911 Turbo is. Yeah, there's, 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 Dude, there's, 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 there's really not much after that in supercar level, yeah. because after that you're, you're talking hypers. you're talking hypercars. Do you have aspirations for a hypercar? There's two brands I would fuck with when it comes to hypercar. That's the McLaren P1 and the Ventador. Yeah, I'd have to go Ventador. Not a big. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big Ventador Roadster, bro. Well, the, I would go SV. The yeah, okay, yeah. SV. yeah, all right. All that, right. that I would go with. Do you believe um, the car you drive is a representation of who you are? To a certain extent, I think so. So GTIs, fuck boys. Hey, that's 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 tricky. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. That's the perception. Uh, but then now, what if white people are driving? And a lot of white people love GTI. Yeah, then they're fuck boys. What if they're girls? Then they fuck girls. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> bro. You see that? I don't agree to to stigmas. Just because I drive. But it exists. It exists. Yeah. Like yeah, VW and boys will take a girl, bro. Yeah. Polo drivers. Hey, VW doesn't matter. Sirocco, they will take your girl. That's a perception. You see, right? So is that, is that true? And then I don't know. I don't. I've never driven one. So, because I, I I would. We should ask our friends who drive GTIs if they fuck boys. Must ask, I'll, I'll ask a few. Yeah. I know BMW has also a bad reputation because people think they, they drive like assholes. They do. But they do. But I've seen the a Beamer lot of... The driver thing is true. But I've seen a lot of Merc drivers do that now. Especially with AMG. Yeah, but that's when Merc changed their whole face and became that. Who's driving? Yeah. 
Remember, back in the day, Merc was for old people. For, for, yeah, it was. It was con- considered a retirement it brand. It was a retirement. Do you mind be having a drink? Shit. <laughs> Don't mind us. Mmm. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's better. Shit, that's better. Anyway, the car you drive yeah. is, is <laughs> gives a perception of, of who you are. It does. Like, you wouldn't have never seen a guy between the age of 20 and 30 Driving in the first A-class. A-class. No. Now it's probably the target You didn't see women market. between eighteen and thirty driving the A class. Yeah, exactly, because it was considered a mummy car. But now, exactly, now the A class is it's one of the biggest. It, uh, it's just one car of the year. One thing's <laughs> guaranteed: when we when we get to that level, I will have a nine eleven, a Range Rover, and a GTR, at okay. the same time. All right, that was that's a guarantee. Anything beyond that, I'm, I don't know. Yeah. Or oh, and a bike. That's how I think. You still, you still want to go bike. Yeah, it's the BMW 1000RR. I want a chopper. Like a helicopter. <laughs> it's just been li- different levels. Bro. No, I'm serious. I want a helicopter. Okay. Yeah. You can get a helicopter. I want a 911 Turbo. I want a Targa. I want a Cayenne. So you're sticking with that same German yeah. family? I think, I'll, I think, I think I'm the type of guy to do that. Yeah. And I think when I change, then I'll change the all of them fleet. To, to like another Audi brand. Or yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Just do that. I'll start with Audi. Start with like a RS3. Uh, RS3. R8. R8 and, and a Q7. Q7. <laughs> yeah. I could have called that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then and then upgrade from that. Because there you're covered. There you're covered. Yeah. See that but that's why I want the 911. Because I'll, n- I'll never buy a bike. I don't I, I like bikes there. Yeah. <laughs> I would buy a bike. Oh, and then build my own rack. Maybe a cruiser. Maybe I'll buy a cruiser. Could a cru- I'll, I'll still want my super bike, bro. Nah, I'll never I'll, buy I'll a super want my bike. Superbike, man. But every time I drive with you, you drive like rules. You said that that's discovery. Yes. You drive proper. But I was never like that. You, I know you you weren't actually because when I met you, you're probably the most ratchet driver I know. <laughs> in every car, every every company car you got, I fucked them up, man. Needed brake changes early, needed service yeah, early. Shit just always went wrong with Especially the cars you brakes, drove. Man. I, I think I replaced brakes and windscreens the most. Yeah, because you're. I, I have a windscreen. So so windscreen. what happened? Now you drive as Daisy. Mm, it depends what mood I'm in and. I think what 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 music I'm listening to, but yeah. Discovery did change that. I won't, I won't even lie because the monitor must be the monitor, and it, it, it adds up to your goals, yeah. and weekly goals. So insurance like and your yeah. paybacks and all of that shit. Yeah, Discovery is very smart, so they they tie everything in together. Yeah, and I'm happy with that. Sometimes I do feel like driving 16 or 60 zone, but there are days where I'm like, fuck this shit. Me man. too. <laughs> no. What no, do you mean? Bro, no, bro. I can see your Discovery meter going. <laughs> I reach my discovery meter more times in a in a month than you do in a year. <laughs> Let's be honest. I've only ever reached it once. Becky. <laughs> Becky with the good hair. Yeah. Ah, Becky with the good hair treats me nice. Exactly. And I think when She's we fun. when we get to that level, I, I don't think I'll be driving sixty. Oh no, let me not lie. There are days, dude. It so, so you'll change your insurance. It won't no. be discovery. No, I'll still fuck with discovery, bro. Yeah, they're the best, dude. But I'll still, I'll still fuck my cars up. Because I won't need the kickbacks and paybacks and all that shit then. Anyway, so what are you guys driving? Uh, let us know what you drive. What was your first car? How did you get it? Um, what was your first car? Did you get a hand-me-down? Yes. My Taz, bro. Remember my I don't know. I don't know why I even asked. Remember my Taz? Goomba Goomba Taz. Remember my Taz? <laughs> that was loud, bro. Goomba yes. Goomba Taz. I miss my Taz. That, that's what you were driving when I first met you. I miss my Taz. Actually, the maroon Taz with the sound with the fucking sound that's more expensive <laughs> than the car. <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad, dude. No, Close. it wasn't. It was no. Close. Taz, Taz was so you could sell a Taz at the time for like thirty k. How much was the sound? It was about eight. Okay. Anyway, I went. I, I didn't go crazy. Okay. Because I, I used my budget for either something way. Else. It's like forty thirty percent of the car yeah, was value it? was sound. Yeah, but it was a, it was Alpine. It was I had Star Sound, Subs. I had a Star you Sound had crossover, the crossfader yeah, and everything. Crossovers. Dude. Crazy. I had tweeters, bro. Like it was USB power, so I had USB and Apple. Yeah, I still use my my iPhone four at yeah. the time. And 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 iPod. The iPod. Yeah. Oh, bro, I missed that car, dude. <laughs> that was my that was my first car. Yeah. You had the? I had a Polo, bro. Playa. 
Oh no! <laughs> the photo plan. Oh no! That was, but that was that was that was, was that was my first car. So I bought that car. So when I started my first job, I was still doing oh, the whole taxi oh, thing. Yeah, I taxied it for the first three months of my first job. And then you were able first to job out of varsity. Let me yeah. first job with a degree. Let me put it that way. Okay. And I still caught a taxi for a little bit, and then um, I was like, okay, so. You know, I'm earning some decent money. I wanted to get a house first. I wanted to buy a house, but I thought, you know what? I need a car. And, you know, Polo just kind of made sense at the time, you know? I think it made for, And dude, it's, those, it's, it's, it's a perfect those Polo players pack. were hot in their so day. It's bro. a perfect starter pack, bro. And then I did the whole colored thing. I had the, the 18 inch mags, you know, deep dish. Uh, uh, shit. You know, low profile tires. I paid out of my ass repairing rims and tires. Because That's the other thing that you people hit don't think about. Yeah, dog. I remember when th- there was probably a month where I had to repair all four of my wheels and replace tires. <laughs> low profile. Oh, that was painful, bro. I, I feel your pain right yeah, now, dude. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, a lot of people don't think about those things. But I mean, it was it was a great it was a great first car, dude. It served me well. I drove that car for for a very long time, dude. My current so the current car is, is the first car you bought. I yourself. went into a dealership and signed paperwork and. You know, and did the application and the everything. Whole, the whole shebang. That must have felt good though. It, you know what, I felt triumphant. I was like, shit. I, actually I did it. I, I did I did it. Yeah. I bought my sh- own. Sh- sh- share with us what, 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 what your first, what car, your experience. first car experience was like. Mine was shit actually, by the way. Mine was brilliant. Mine, mine was <laughs> horrible, dude. So I remember catching a taxi yeah. to go pick up my first car. And when I got there, it wasn't ready. The sales exec fucked up everything. It wasn't even the right car. So on Shit. the day, I went to pick up my car, thinking this is my last taxi ride. It wasn't. Ish. I went home with a taxi again. And they still didn't sort that thing out. And only two weeks after that did I get my actual car. Two weeks? Two weeks, bro. My mom referred me to this guy because she bought all her cars from him. Oh, yeah. So I went to him. I spent a couple of hours with him. Literally, the next time he calls, he's like, come through. The F and I wants to have a chat with you. Filled in paperwork. Next time he called me, he's like, your car's ready. Dude, like, it was quick. This happened within three weeks, right? Okay. Then I got my car, and I found a, a huge scratch yeah. know, on the bumper. Like, massive scratch. Yeah, I think I might remember that. Yeah. yeah. Remember, and then I yeah. took it back, and I said, yo, now the car is a, is a scratch. Yeah. He looked at it, he's like, oh, shit. I think they scratched it when they were moving it from the top to the yeah. bottom. Took my car, gave me a replacement car right there and then. Yeah. Took my car for three days. They fixed it on them. Yeah. Gave me back my car. It's like, here you go again. Yeah. As simple as that. That's a big thing, man. And that's something that, that pleases me because I, I work very closely yeah. with that. So customer service in the motor industry is pretty much my job. You know, if, if you know some of the guys I've worked with, some of the clients I've worked with, and you get good service there, you know, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> what are your experiences with buying a new car? Yeah. And customer service, have you been treated well? Have you not? Hit us up. Yeah. Tell us some cool car stories, you know? Yeah. What, 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 what are your goals? What, what do you want to drive? What's the car you love? Is it, is it even important to you? Or do you just want something with four wheels that gets you from A to B and you're happy with that? I mean, not everyone's a car person. Remember yeah. that. You know? you know, I actually have friends now, yeah. currently, or rather not friends, but, you know, people I know who refuse to buy cars because of Uber and Taxify. People are choosing... If, if, you, if it works for you... Yeah. I don't I, think I could ever do uh, that, man. I need the freedom of having your own car. I don't want to have to say, okay, I'm leaving in 10 minutes because I'm waiting for an Uber. I'm gonna be like, yo, I got 10 minutes to get there and get into my car. <laughs> and then there's a you surcharge know? and you're like, oh, damn. You see, and then, no, bro, like, I want to have the freedom to control my movement. Yeah, and I think that having a car does give you that freedom because Hello. as much as, you know, taxis, you know, kind of get places quickly, you know, they're not always as reliable. And they can get dangerous. Yeah, they, I mean, of course they can. There's a lot of taxi yeah. accidents. Yeah, of course. But there's a lot of car accidents, isn't it? Exactly. Accidents. Yeah. 
Yeah. Alright, so you guys let us know, share your car stories, let us know what your favorite car is, let us know what you think we should test drive. We built a couple of cool relationships, and guys. Some of the big brands. Yeah, right? some of the big brands. Guys will be giving us cars for a couple of days to play around with, test and review. We'll be doing a few things inside yeah. some of the dealerships as well, which is exciting. And I know I'm excited about it because I'm, I'm, excited I'm taking it. you guys into my space. You know, this is what I do. Technically, yeah. it's where you come from as well. You yeah, know? but also it gives gives the show an opportunity to explore a lot more stuff yeah in terms of being creative so yeah I'm, I'm really excited about that yeah as well. i think also watch our socials to see yeah, i keep saying guys. you know <laughs> what, what, what we're doing and where we're growing saying. i think maybe we, we should stop putting in stone where we're going and just say we're growing off the record we're growing off road for the past two days <laughs> out chill. in the bundus um it's been a, it's been fucking fun bro it's been a crazy two days yeah uh, thank you very much for watching this episode it's been an automotive one off the record off road like a v12 we're out peace out follow like, like share, share comment comment click the bell subscribe yeah new episodes coming every week off the record Do it. deuces <laughs>